So I recently did this little uh, video clip, uh, just kind of as a joke for my morning commute. And um, uh, somebody asked me how I did the split screen effect. So I figured I'd kind of show you what I'm talking about here. And should anyone else want to learn how to do it? So notice what the effect's doing here is I've got a scrolling title for a uh, scrolling video from the left, and then another one coming in from the upper right. It sits for a few seconds, and then it kind of takes up the whole screen. That's uh, more, you know, nothing exciting about it, uh, but uh, the, the overall video in question does this quite a bit. And so um, I figured I'd uh, throw it in. So I've got my three video files that I use for this. And uh, the main thing that we use for it is kind of the radio shadow. And I'll show you what I do. So I start off with my base video, which is just the people walking as they're getting off the bus. And I've got that one set where I want it. And nothing too super interesting happening with that. The next thing I'm going to do is go to my next layer. So this is the one that's coming in from the upper left. Notice when I screw it a lot into the screen here, we currently don't have any uh, shadow effect around it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by adding that shadow effect. And I'm going to scale it down for just a few seconds while I do that so that I can actually see the full image. And in the upper left in your effects panel, you can just type in radio, which I did here, and get your radio shadow. Drag it onto your effects control panel. Want to make sure your shadow color is black. Uh, you certainly could use different colors if you want. Uh, for the purpose of this one, I use black. The opacity, I jumped that up to 100. And you can either click into it, like I just did here, hit enter to take it to 100 or what I'm doing, what I usually do is I'll just mouse over it until I get those two little black arrows and click with the left clicker on the mouse and then it lets me use the scroll bar to scroll it to the values that I want. And the next thing you need to check on is your resize layer. This is where we actually get those black boxes from. But you'll notice with the black boxes they're not exactly square around it. And in order to adjust those, what we use is going to be our light source and projection distance. So the first one I'm going to go to here is the 180 that's on the right. And same thing, I'm just clicking with my left mouse pointer and then using the scroll to get it kind of where I want it on. And that's the upper and lower. There, it looks about even. Next thing I'm going to do is the one on the left and got it relatively even, but you notice I've got my boxes on the left and right are wider than my boxes on the upper and lower portions of the image. So this is where our projection distance kind of comes in to increase it or decrease it as we want. And you can just kind of fine tune it till you get it about where you want it. Since this one's coming in from the left, I'm not going to worry too much about uh, the fact that it's a little bit wider on the on the one side. So I've got that where I want it and now I'm going to go back and adjust my scale to get that where I want it and that's about right. So at this point, make sure I clear any markers there. So at this point, notice my position is uh, way off to the left, which I can scroll back on. Um, but you can kind of see that's where it's going to start in from. And so that's what it's doing automatically here is it's clicking the keyframe, which I should have actually done in the first place. But anyway, so the first thing you want to do is click that position keyframe and it adds that little icon there. And I'm going to scroll ahead to about the time that I'm going to want it to be completely in the center, uh, which is, you know, about right here. And you can adjust this later if you want. It's relatively easy to adjust. And I'm going to click that add remove keyframe to set that point. And I'm going to bring it in to about where I want it, which is about halfway through. So if you notice, now what we've got going on here is starts off, comes in from the left, and then it stops at that keyframe point. Next one I'm going to do is the one that comes in from the upper right. So I'm just going to hide that one for now and I'm gonna get this one where I want it. 
Uh, I had these set already from earlier. I clear it off. So it's going to start off on, out on the upper right. Like Before I do that, I'm going to need to bring it in and do the same thing to get that shadow around it. So I'm just pulling it in from the where I had it. And let's get it and onto the screen a little bit. And once again, I'm only gonna use really two corners of this, so I'm not even gonna bother with bringing the whole thing in there. Grab my radio shadow, bring the opacity up to 100, select resize, and it throws those on there. Use my light source adjustments to get that where I want. And if you're really industrious about it, you can make notes of what you used for the previous one and then just manually enter them. Uh, so that way you're getting your distances exactly direct. I'm just doing this as a quick tutorial, so I'm not going to mess with that right now. Okay. So now well, I've got my shadow where I want it, but I still need to put the actual position of the video where I'm going to want it. And so I'm going to bring this one back on because I want to make sure that I'm starting to a point uh, where those uh, two line up. And I'm going to move this back off the screen to where it starts. Okay, hit a marker. And then I'm going to bring it in a bit of ways to where it's going to scroll in. Hit my keyframe and drag it down to about where it ends up. Okay, let's do a quick check. Scrolling in from the left and scrolling in from the top and it stops. Okay, so at this point, I've got these where I want it, but I'm gonna want this to actually sit here for a second or so. Then what I'm gonna do is hit the, another add a keyframe. So basically what this is saying is from this keyframe to this keyframe here, there's really not gonna be any change. It's gonna just sit here. And then I'm gonna to want to bring that one where it does that swipe from the upper left. And so I'm gonna move it over to roughly about the time where I'm gonna want that to end. So basically when it's gonna be at the full screen point. Enter a keyframe. And let's bring this all the way down. And we'll bring this all the way over. I'm gonna increase my scale just a pinch so that I don't have any of those black lines around it. And let's see how this looks. Now if we scroll down from the top, it sits for a second, and then does a little scroll to the left. And just for the fun of it, I threw a final wipe. This is just, you know, these are all the default ones that are in here. Just for the very last second, just, just wipe it from the, all right, that's just for the fun of it. So anyway, um, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, if it isn't, well, you know, don't watch it again. All right.